Mastering Availability Controls Your organization's SLA performance is a mystery until you demand transparency. How can our organization effectively measure and consistently report on service level agreement SLA, performance to ensure transparency and accountability across its operational teams and stakeholders? To effectively measure and consistently report on service level agreement SLA, performance, our organization should implement a structured approach that encompasses clear definitions, robust data collection, and regular reporting. This will enable transparency and accountability across operational teams and stakeholders, driving operational excellence. Firstly, establish a clear and concise SLA definition that outlines the expected service quality, response times, and resolution targets for each service. This definition should be communicated to all relevant stakeholders, including operational teams, customers, and senior management. Ensure that the SLA definition is realistic, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart, to avoid ambiguity and misinterpretation. Next, identify the key performance indicators KPIs, that will be used to measure SLA performance. These KPIs should be quantifiable, relevant, and aligned with the SLA definition. Examples of KPIs may include Service Availability Percentage Mean Time to Detect MTTD. Mean Time to Resolve MTTR. First Call Resolution Rate Customer Satisfaction Ratings Implement a data collection process that is automated, reliable, and tamper-proof. This can be achieved through the use of tools such as service management platforms, monitoring systems, and customer feedback surveys. Ensure that the data collection process is integrated with the organization's incident management process to ensure accurate and timely data capture. Develop a reporting framework that provides regular, consistent, and actionable insights into SLA performance. This framework should include a dashboard that displays real-time SLA performance metrics, weekly or monthly reports that provide a detailed analysis of SLA performance, quarterly business reviews that discuss SLA performance trends and areas for improvement. The reporting framework should be designed to cater to different stakeholder groups, including operational teams, customers, and senior management. For example, operational teams may require detailed, technical reports, while senior management may require high-level, executive summaries. Establish a review and governance process to ensure that SLA performance is regularly reviewed and discussed. This process should involve Regular review meetings with operational teams to discuss SLA performance, identify areas for improvement, and assign action items. Quarterly business reviews with senior management to discuss SLA performance trends and provide recommendations for improvement. Annual reviews with customers and stakeholders to discuss SLA performance and gather feedback. Implement a continuous improvement process that encourages operational teams to identify areas for improvement and develop action plans to address them. This process should include Root Cause Analysis RCA, to identify the underlying causes of SLA performance issues. Development of corrective action plans to address RCA findings. Implementation of changes and monitoring of their effectiveness. Finally, recognize and reward operational teams that consistently meet or exceed SLA targets. This can be achieved through the use of recognition programs, bonuses, or other incentives that motivate teams to strive for operational excellence. By implementing this structured approach, our organization can ensure transparency and accountability across operational teams and stakeholders, driving operational excellence and improving customer satisfaction.